So for today, we'll discuss about the one of the two design philosophy that we follow. At ang i-discuss niya na is what we call the working stress design of reinforced concrete beams. Suppose we have this beam. And say, for example, this beam is subjected to um, a uniformly distributed load as shown in this, ano, in this figure. And um, because of the applied load, the beam will deflect. The cause of that deflection is actually the, the, bending, ano, the bending moment that the beam is experiencing. We can actually um, visualize and mga moments and magnitude and moments on each section of the beam. That's why in your, ano, in your theory of structure and even in your um, strength of materials, ang kamu how to draw the shear and moment diagram. Okay? So, pero for this discussion, we'll just talk about the, the moment lang. Okay? Dilihan kita mag-talk on shear diagram because that would be on the next topic na. Yung design of the flexural, I mean, the shear reinforcement of beams. Okay, so we can visualize the moments on each section of the beam. That's why may nakita sinisaring a moment diagram. So if we draw the moment diagram of this, ano, of this um, simply supported beam, it would look like this. Diba? So, ganito nit iya itsora. And this point right here is what we call the maximum moment of the beam. Okay. So, kung simply supported nga nitun hiya, then subjected to a uniformly distributed load, the, the section where the maximum moment occur is always at the mid-span. Diba? So, kung uniformly distributed lang, uniformly distributed um, load nga ni, it gin apply di dahit beam, the most vulnerable section of the beam is always at the mid span. Okay? So, amo ito nit atong gingigita. As I have explained on the video that I gave you. Okay, so this is what we call the maximum moment. And of course, if we, um, if we try to increase the intensity of the load, syempre, imunganig increase it intensity of the load, like this one, kita ani ha, increase natin it intensity of the load, then of course, the, the moments on each section of the beam will also increase. Diba? It will also increase by um, a proportional amount of increase and in intensity of the applied load. Okay. Then, if you keep on increasing, if you keep on increasing the, the intensity of the load, yan, mag-reach kayo to a point where the beam will now crack. Okay, nakikita, diba? Nag-crack ya. So if you keep on increasing, di ba han siya hala anay, guti ayla anay, an ko an intensity han load, then the beam will not experience any cracks because that means that the beam can still carry the the ano the load applied to the beam. But if you keep on increasing the the intensity of the load, so ginidinugangan mo hin load, then um there will come a point nga magkakami ada hin crack di da han imo beam, di ba? Of course, it una nga magka-crack iton dida. Ang pinaka-vulnerable nga section. Because, um, amo man it, uh, ato man dito it maximum moment. Diba? Amo it, yeah, it pinaka-vulnerable. So, dito iton una mag appear it cracks. And when, at that moment, when the crack um, occurs, at that moment, and moment dito, hiton dida nga crack, hiton dida nga section, is what we call the cracking moment. Okay ha? We have here what we call the cracking moment. So the cracking moment is the moment that will cause the beam to crack. Diba? As simple as that. Okay, so um, uh, when the beam cracks, it doesn't necessarily mean that your beam has already failed. Okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that your beam has already failed. Because remember, we have, um, what we have here is a reinforced concrete design. So that means, um, kanina, hanwari pa crack, that means that the that the concrete can still carry the the intensity of the moment applied to it on that section okay diba um if you can if you have watched the video diba na yakana ka the 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 concrete i mean yes the concrete the concrete has a very um high compressive strength but it is very low in tensile strength very low here, but it doesn't mean no what I need tensile strength, diba? So when the when the magnitude of the when the intensity of the load is parang um small palang, 
that means that the beam can still carry the that load. Amo ito niya nga waray pa crack. But if you keep on adding more loads, then you will come to a point na magka-crack ito niya. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the beam has already failed because at that point nagcrack na nga na yung beam at that point the the reinforcement diba reinforcement that's why it's called reinforcement because the reinforcement is um supposed to carry the amount of loads that the beam cannot carry anymore because may that na cracks okay so amo um, ito nga nagbiling nagbubutang kita hin reinforcement so what i'm trying to to emphasize here is that when when the crack occurs it doesn't necessarily mean that your beam has already failed so and in fact you can Um, in fact, you can um, increase the load pa. So, if you want increase intensity, it intensity of the load, then like this one. So, magkakam ay dakan so ganyang figure. Okay, so these two points right here, these two points right here, ining ato duwang point. This one, diba ining a point ngayon ining a point. Wala mo yun hiya an intensity of the cracking moment. So let let us draw a line here. So, I'm going to hit intensity of the the cracking moment. Anything above that intensity will cause the beam to crack, diba? So, ibig sabihin, hindi nga um, section of the beam. Tikan din hi nga yung koto hi. So, anything in between. Yan, dida. Anything in between, since the moment, um, anything in between these um, two points, The moment on that section is greater than or equal to the cracking moment, then on that section of the beam, cracks will occur. So, for example, on this section, hindi din nga section of the beam, since if you project it downward, the the magnitude of the moment is right here. So that means that since the magnitude of the moment right here is lesser than the cracking moment, then that means that the the beam, I mean, yes, the beam will not. Um, experience cracks on that section. Diba? So, amo ito niya. So, on this um, on this figure, there are two stages actually of loading of the beam. Actually, there are three, but on this figure, duhalet imo makikita. Okay, so, una, we have your what we call the uncrapped concrete stage. Ani kaduha naman is the concrete crap elastic stresses stage. Ani katuloy naman is the ultimate strength stage. Okay? So, when we say the uncrapped concrete stage that means that the that the concrete okay the concrete can still carry the tensile load diba um on the previous video again um gin explain ko dito nga if your beam is subjected to a moment then at the uppermost fiber of the beam will experience compression and the lower and the lowest fiber of the beam will experience tension okay so On stage one, the uncrack concrete stage. Di ba wari paman pag crack and and kuan and and concrete. So on that stage, the the beam, uh, the concrete. I mean, the concrete can still sustain that the tensile force that the beam is subjected into. Di ba? Kasi kaya nga uncrack concrete stage pa siya. But when you keep on increasing the load, then magka crack na hiya. Then that means. Adi nakita it stage 2. Stage 2 now is, um, it says here, the concrete cracked elastic stresses stage. So, um, ito niya. So, it mula titigam na basta it una nga stage and crack ito niya. Ibig sabihin, the, the, the concrete can still sustain the, ano, the, the intensity of the tensile force. And, ano ka doon naman is the cracked, cracked stage naman niya. Then the concrete can no longer sustain the tensile load. That's why it cracks. Nagcrack na hiya, and an na carry naman han tensile load instead nga an concrete na an makerry, an reinforcement na an makerry, di ba? Parang ginpupunan han reinforcement an kung an an what the concrete is lacking. Okay. So it osa naman din ni this one the ultimate strength stage. This um this will be discussed on. Uh, so, has to sunod nga mga discussion because on this video we'll just discuss the what we call the working stress design because stage one and two belongs to what we call the working stress design and the stage number three naman it belongs to the ultimate strength design but so ibig sabihin after stage two 
diri diri ibig sabihin nga nag-fail and imo beam, di ba? After you have gone through the stage 2, nakalapos ka na in stage 2 and and concrete crack elastic stress stage, it doesn't mean that your beam um has already failed. And in fact, um may dapakita sa ni siring nga ultimate strength and concrete. Kumbaga ang pinaka sagad nga kuan, ang pinaka sagad nga strength and and material nga imo gagamit. And that would be discussed on on the next ano lesson. Okay, for this video, we'll just talk about the working stress design. So number one, we have here the uncrapped concrete stage. Ano ba in here nga uncrapped concrete stage? Okay, it will, the, the section on uncrapped concrete stage will look like this. Diba? So, I mean, yeah, it, it's so rahit uncrapped stage. Um, notice that um, on the topmost fiber, and pinakatap nga fiber, that is the, the fiber uh, that experiences the and pinaka maximum uh, flexural stress in compression diba the flexural stress in compression that's why we call it f sub c so the flexural stress of concrete in compression that's why c to denote compression and on the lower on the lowest naman on the lowest fiber of the beam uh, it will experience the flexural stress the maximum flexural stress in tension now notice that FC, FC and FT here are just the same because your neutral axis is um, uh, it coincides with the geometric centroid of the section. Diba? So so meron nga geometric centroid, it doesn't um, it doesn't take into consideration what what material kun ano yung mga material it yan he. Diba? mga bars man ito niya, mga reinforcement. So, geometric centroid lang. If the neutral axis coincide with the geometric centroid, then that means that this distance, yung YC, ibig sabihin the distance of the, the extreme fiber in compression from the neutral axis. So, C is to denote compression and T naman is to denote tension. So, the, the distance of, of the fiber here and the fiber here from the neutral axis are, are the same. That's why we can say that your FC and your FT are equal. Now, remember that um, our formula for flexure, yung FB is equal to MY over I, diba? So, your your stress, your flexural stress is a function of Y, diba? Your, your flexural stress is a function of Y. That means if Y increases, your FB will also increase, diba? So, kun an why ni mo and why sing and why t the same ibig sabihin and imo flexure are, are also the same because um provided however that they belong to the same section so ibig sabihin the same gihap and era moment and the moment of inertia yan okay so that's what i want to emphasize here um in the uncropped concrete stage um the um the flexure in compression and the flexural stress in tension are the same Uncrack pa man hiya, di ba? Uncrack pa man hiya. So, ibig sabihin, nakakasustain pa ang concrete. Ang yadi nga fiber han concrete, nakakasustain pa hiya. Han, um, han tensile stress, han tensile force nga gini-experience and beam. Okay. So, this is what we call the stress diagram right here. And we have here what we call the strain diagram naman. Look at the strain diagram. Uh, in here, we have here the strain in comp uh, the strain of concrete in compression and habos naman, the strain of concrete in tension. They are actually the same gihap because um, yun nga, the neutral axis is acting on the geometric centroid of, um, of the section. Okay, so we have here number two, the concrete crack elastic stress stage naman. Okay, di ba nag-crack na? The word there is crack nag crack na daw ibig sabihin tikan didi ini 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 nga concrete waray na iton hiya gamit because nag crack na so diri na niya kaya i sustain ang tensile stress sa ubos diba take note ha tikan han neutral axis di pakadi ha ubos tension iton hiya tikan han neutral axis di pakadi ha ubos compression naya kan it concrete daw makusuga compression mahinay ha tension so imo nga ni Dugan hin duro it kuan it intensity it load oh, maabot kahin nga stage ini nga crack 
elastic stresses stage. So, ini nga section di tension, since concrete is very weak in tension, diri na itong magagamitan. That's why if you look here in the stress diagram, waray na di daan stress diagram han kan concrete, di ba? Kangin na may da di da. Because, yun nga, the concrete can no longer sustain the tensile stress, the tensile force that the beam is subjected into. And instead, to um, to compensate had to nga nawawara nga nga kuan nga nga capacity and concrete amo ah, iton it gamit di dahan steel reinforcement kumbaga ang load nga dapat aadidi ang carry han han force i mean han concrete ginki carry na yan han steel that's why we have here the flexural stress of steel s for steel and we have here the flexural stress of concrete okay Sana na nasusundan niyo. Okay, sana na nasusundan niyo. Um, before we go on, do you have any question? Any question before we we go on? Medyo ba question? I guess we are. <laughs> okay. So Um, okay, so these are the two, ano, two stages that we will be um, discussing today. The uncracked concrete stage and the concrete crack elastic stage. These two belongs to the working stress design. So, yun. So, uh, uh, let me emphasize lang ha. On the uncracked concrete stage and, and still, wari pa itong gamit because the, the, the concrete can still carry the tensile stress on the concrete cracked elastic stage naman the concrete intention can no longer sustain the tensile stresses that's why and nag and nag act na dida is and and kuan and reinforcement that's why i mean yeah, it's so right at an ano stress diagram okay so how can we how do we determine if we are in the uncracked concrete stage or in the concrete crack elastic stresses stage ang haba okay how do we determine kung ano kita na nga stage okay ma-determine ito naton dito han sinisiring naton kanina and cracking moment di ba the cracking moment as i have said kanina that is the moment at which the cracks begins to form And that is when the tensile stress in the bottom of the beam equals the modulus of rupture. So, ibig sabihin, if you have a cracking moment, it imamahu form a stress at the bottom of the of the beam is what we call the modulus of rupture. Diba? So, if your moment is equal to the cracking moment, equal or greater than the cracking moment, cracks will occur and that means your your stress at the bottom at the bottom of the beam will be greater than or equal to the modulus of rupture so am iton here now let's talk about the modulus of rupture first ah amo na ini din hi nagkakam in it aton sinisiring codes the codes that we follow as engineers okay so so kumbaga magkadimalara so nga ni for example nagdesign ka tapos paglinog na nakuanan imo design and imo structure maka kami ada hin investigation gin gin ginkikita didto kon ginsunod ba nimo ang national structural code of the Philippines and mga minimum requirement so diri nga ni oh, you are liable mga suga diton so it modulus of rupture the code um nag nag kukanit code nag nagdidictate nga it pag compute it modulus of rupture This is according to the code, ha? It's right here. Exist simplify ko na lang. Okay, so according to the code, the modulus of rupture, or um, it is denoted by F sub R. To compute for the modulus of rupture, um, this is the formula we have here. 0.62 lambda times the square root of Fc prime. Fc prime, that is the compressive strength of the concrete. So usually, um, Uh, a board exam ginhatag na ito niya it it ko an it it uh, ini nga fc prime okay so this one this is for from nscp national structural 
Code of the Philippines 2015. 2015 in here. Um, bangin la tagan problem or bangin la maghatagakin problem using the NSCP NSCP 2010. It it modulus of rupture using the NSCP 2010 is um, 0.7 lambda times the square root of the FC prime. Memoria ha in niyo. Dapat memorize in niyo. Sayo man la, da. Modulus of rupture is equal to 0 0.62 lambda square root of FC prime for 2015. For 2010, that is 0 0.7 lambda square root of FC prime. May memorize it niyo. Okay, let me erase this one, ha? Okay, so the value of lambda... This is for both 2010 and 2015. The value of lambda, according to the National Structural Code of the Philippines, according to this one. Okay, so lambda daw is, um, if you are using, if you are using a normal weight aggregates, maaram naman kami it aggregates, di ba? Kaya tapos naman kamuhan han material testing, construction material and testing. So, maram na kamo ito nga normal weight aggregates. Ano ito nga mga aggregates nga sinisiring? An bato, an baras. So, if you are using the normal weight aggregate, your lambda will be equal to 1.0. Then, number two, if you are using sand lightweight, sand lightweight aggregates, your lambda will be equal to 0.85. All lightweight aggregates, you will use lambda equal to 0 0.75. Yan, di ba? Masayin lang pag-memorize. 1, 0 0.85, 0 0.75. <laughs> Mira pa ikato, ikaw pa. Okay. If the FCT or what we call the average splitting tensile strength. Okay, ha? If the average splitting tensile strength is given and the FCM then this formula right here I amin mean, hit magiging formula natin for the computation of the value of lambda fct over 0 0.56 square root of fcm and that should be less than or equal 1.0 ibig sabihin dapat it value din he should not be greater than 1.0 so kun greater than 1.0 nga ni oh, aditim gagamiton 1.0 yun so that's how we koan that's how we um, compute for the modulus of rupture. Okay, let's have an example. Sample problem number one. Okay, so we have a given section below. We have to determine, we have to determine the cracking, if cracking occur, if the compressive strength of the normal weight aggregate, take note, Hanaya Candida, normal weight aggregate. So, ibig sabihin, ang lambda natin is 1.0. Okay? Basahin to hay, babasahon niyo in to hay it kuan it problem because um what I kay ding wani basahon di ko makakans. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we are given with the normal weight aggregate and the compressive strength the FC prime is equal to 27.6 megapascal and the section is subjected to a bending moment of 32 kilonewton meter. So ano ang ginpapabiling? Ang gimpapabiling dida is the crack if, if, ha? Gimpapabiling, gimpapa find out, gimpapa investigate ka if the cracking occur. So my question is, and I want to, ano, uh, I want to call somebody. My question is, um, before you answer, please raise your hand. Did I hit koan? Did I hit? Did it at on, um, Google Meet, may dito ang koan, di ba? Gano'y raise it hand. Okay, so my question is, um, what should we do to determine if cracking occur based on what I have um, discussed so far? Anybody? Anybody? Raise your hand. Anybody? Waray nag-raise in hand. <laughs> So, ibig sabihin, wari na intindihan. Mga tawag, ak, sige. Kaya wari mo nagyayin mo ko. Ano yung nahain na din hiit ko, an. Mm, Damo na ngayon ka mo, 45 na ngayon. 
Pero duha ka section. So, guti lagi hap. Okay. So, let me call um, in a car. Okay. So, the problem, this problem right here is asking if um, you are to determine if cracking occur. So, how would we determine if indeed cracking occurs? How, paano natin malalaman kung ang cracking nag-occur? I just want to know your idea. Doesn't necessarily mean, doesn't necessarily mean nga magkukompute ka. Gusto ko lang malaman kung ano, ano yung idea. How do we determine if um, how how would we determine if cracking occurs on on a certain beam? Kaya sa matpinakikiana it problem. Professor Bang, maybe sir, it depends on the in the, in the load being subjected on the beam, sir. Of course, it depends on the load. So, paano man natin determine? If na exceed na yun, sir, sir, hit ko an hit. Ano yung tawag? Hit. Anong tawag? <laughs> hit, prefer load nga at to hit. Sinisang pahan code nga, kuan sir, nga, preferable. Wrong. Anybody else? La na. How do you suppose we determine if cracks will occur on a beam? Nga, does sir have fiber? Ano man it fiber? Ano man it fiber? Kikitaon kun, kaya pa niya mag kuan or ha Ano ni mo kikitaon? Based on rupture. Modulus of rupture. Okay. So, it is based on modulus of rupture. What should we do with the modulus of rupture? Wait lang. <laughs> I'm still talking to the... Sir. What should we do with the modulus of rupture to determine if cracks will occur on the beam? Dapat diriya mag greater. Uh, come again? Dapat diriya, sir, mag-greater ha modulus of rupture. An ano? Ang diri mag-greater ha modulus of rupture? Ito na load na na-apply ha beam. Ah, no. Because the load... Oh, and stress no, because... may answer. An ano? And stress. Very good. Okay, ha? The stress on the beam should not be greater than the modulus of rupture. If the stress on the beam is greater than the modulus of rupture... Then that means your beam will cracks, diba? Nagiginakan ako kanina. There is another one. There's another way to determine um, if beam will occur. That's one way to determine. You have to compare the modulus of rupture with the stress on the beam. Unina, ano nga nga stress and beam? Itat iko compare. And ano nga stress? Now take note on the on the flexural stresses. There are two sides of the stress on the flexural stress. We have the um, the compressive stress and the tensile stress. So, Miss, um, I'm not done with you yet. What stress of the fle uh, what flexural stress? It aton iko compare han modulus of rupture. Ang tensile sir kay amo tadya ubus. Kay ano nga tensile stress? Kay di ba sir ang tensile asya an adiha ubus tas compressive an bow bow. Depende kon ano nga type of beam. Um, that's um. I think you have an idea, but that's not what I'm looking for. Dito niya an answer. Kay ano nga tensile stress? It atang gingu compare nga tuhan modulus of rupture. Why exactly? Kay ano dito an compression? Kay ano an tension na natin gingu compare han modulus of rupture? Kay kikita on sir an crack hal pinaka down han lowest fiber. Aw an oo an fiber ha ubus. No, that's not correct. No. Kay ano an tensile stress ang gingu compare han modulus of rupture? Anybody? Martin is raising his hand. Sir, I should have said stress, sir. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pop up with a crack. Okay, I'm going to crack him, right? Wait, wait, sir, wait. Okay, let's wait. Oh, okay. Why is it, my question was, why is it that according to Ms. and she is correct, what we need to compare is the the tensile stress of the flexure, the, the tensile side of the flexural stress to the modulus of rupture. Okay, why is it nga tensile stress and natin go compare and not the compressive side of the flexural stress? Okay, kung man sir, ang tensile force man it nagkukos han 
concrete nga magkadahin cracks. Di ba? Very good. Di ba, nayaka na kayo, and, com- and concrete is very, um, very strong in compression, but very weak in tension. Ah, mo ito niya nga, if the beam is loaded, uh, if a simply supported beam is loaded, and una, and magkakrack talaga at haubos, because that's where the tensile, the tensile side of the, ano, the tension side of the beam. Pero, miss, your answer was, nasa rin ka kasi, Um, kay amo it aad to ha ubos. How about if you have a beam like this? Can you can you see what I'm drawing? Yes, sir. Okay, pananglitan may daka beam nga sugad hini tapos um itawag ini nga beam. Let me erase the uh yan. Itawag ini nga beam is um cantilever beam. Kati fixed here di di tapos free end here di di. May dangan di da load, di ba? May dangan di da load. It pag bend hit beam, masugad it pag bend ito niya. Di ba? Masugad. Now this time, the lower portion of the beam is in compression and the the upper for, portion of the beam is in tension. So yan na. If this beam will crack, it una nga mag-crack-crack ito, it uh, add to dito ha baw-baw. So your answer nga nasa rin kakangina nga um, kay asit uh, add to it ubos, that's not actually... precise that's um that's not correct because uh, the answer to the question to my question kung kay ano natong gin ko compare and the modulus of rupture to the ano to the tensile side of the flexural stress is because the tension ang tension yun yung nagko-cause han beam to crack kasi um it i mean the concrete kasi um you think it like this it concrete kasi bato iton hiya di ba parang parang bato iton hiya imo nga ni it tension it bato di ba parang parang sugit pulburon ba nga nag nga nagkukuan nag you know what i mean <laughs> parang pulburon ano tapos gin gin kukuan ni mo gin gin tense ni mo di ba nag nagko crack ito niya di ba parang parang something like that it, it analogy okay because the tensile force the, the tension side of the uh, of the flexural stress that what That's what causes the the beam to crack. Diba? Pero it compression, it compression ha. It compression said giha. If the compression stress, if the compressive stress on the beam is very very high, if it exceeds the compressive strength of the concrete, the beam will also crack. Kumbaga an mga bato didto magkaka-crash na iton hiya. But parang daho pa iton hiya nga Damo pa ito niya nga loaded kailangan because yun nga, yung concrete natin is very strong in compression. ba diba? Very weak here in tension. And iya capacity lang tension is the modulus of rupture. That's why ko compare natin ang modulus of rupture to the tensile stress of the beam. Now, as I have said, may da pa ito uusa. Okay. Una, pwede natin i-compare ang modulus of rupture to the, to, to the tensile stress of the beam. And there is also another one. There is also another one. Ano pa ito niya nga usap para ma-determine natin if cracks will occur. Anybody? Mar- Mar- Mr. Mr. you were raising your hand. Do you have any idea? So ano pa ito usap nga pwede natin kita on para ma-determine natin if cracks will occur. Sige lang, I understand. Okay, let let, let, let me um, call another another person. Um, anybody who has an idea, let me call somebody. Another. What do you think? Um, kung ano sa, ano sa nga way is we can compare the modulus of rupture to the tensile stress of the beam. And there is another way. to determine kung nag- if cracks will occur and what is that? I can't think of an answer, sir. Anybody? Oh, Mr. raised a hand. Sir, an moment. An ano nga moment? Cracking moment. Iko compare to? Tidahan but nga, an middle, ano itong tawag? Ang madawa, sir? No, no. We, we are given a section tapos gintagang kita yung moment. So, iko compare ang moment nga actual nga moment nga na experience and section to the cracking moment and that's actually correct. So ano man iton pa- paano man ito na- natin ma-determine kung nag-crack? Ano man iton hiya? 
kung maging mag greater or equal hiya ang cracking moment. Ah, cracking moment. Very good. Okay, amay ton ha, duduha. Isurat ko di date aton ko an. Ita kon duduha at criteria. Let me erase this one. Okay ha. So, ang papadetermine ha aton if cracking will occur and what we need to do, duduha at aton po di buhaton. So, gan. Um, we can compare the moment to the um, cracking moment. So, cracks will occur if the moment on that section is greater than or equal to the cracking moment. And the other one, um, and but ano sa, uh, the flexure, the tensile side of the flexural stress is greater than or equal to the modulus of rupture. Diba? So, ini nga duduha. O pwede usal natin gamiton. Pwede ba? Ay, ini, ini. You might, you might ask, um, pwede ba nga greater than an moment ha cracking moment pero less than an less than an tensile side of the flexural stress ha koan ha tawag niya modulus of rupture now the answer to that question is no because the <clears throat> the the moment that will cause a stress equal to the modulus of rupture is only the cracking moment so ibig sabihin kun daho nga nit cracking moment mas daho gihap it modulus of rupture or kung goti it cracking moment o oh, goti gihap ito nit modulus of rupture it ini kasi nga duduha it moment and um stress and stress niya ini nga duduha they are proportional kasi so ibig sabihin duma ko nga nan moment madakuan an ko an an iya stress di ba so you can pwede gamitin nimo it usala pag check kun if cracking will occur So, ayun na nga do have ig, ig solve. Okay? So, that's what we will do in this ano, in this um, example. Let me wait lang ha. Let me open my whiteboard. Okay, na yakan daw we need to determine if cracking will occur. So, atong bubuhaton um given na kasi an moment, di ba? Given an moment. So, an moment na lang, atan i-compare nga duhan, cracking moment. Diba? Given an moment, so we, we just need to find the cracking moment. Okay? So, if I find lang natin ang cracking moment. So, let's put it here. Ah, dito yan lang. Ah, diba? From the flexural stress, from the flexural stress formula, akong ginatag ha iyo on the last video, ang formula na yan, FB, Uh, flexural stress or the bending stress is equal to M Y over I. Diba? Amahin yan general formula. Ang atong ginbibiling is the cracking moment. Masukad ka. Ang atong ginbibiling is the cracking moment. Ang cracking moment and ia stress na form is the modulus of rupture. So, ang an imo Y naman, take note, in explain ko in previous video, ini din ni nga Y, ini nga Y, kung ito niya, Um, and distance from the neutral axis to the fiber that you are considering. And for the cracking moment, it atong fiber nga ko consider, yung maginyak na palakit, ginyak ang ko pala kang ina, yung consider na rin, is the extreme fiber in tension. Because that's the first fiber that will crack. So, yun yung distance, ito nga, y. So, we will name this distance as the y sub t to denote tension. So, this is y sub t all over and atong gagamiton since um we are assuming that the beam is um parang wala pa yung mag crack about to crack pa lang hiya di ba so that's why and atong gagamiton nga moment of inertia is the uh, gross moment of inertia ibig sabihin diri pa natin gin take into consideration and ini nga mga bars because um yun nga uh, gin about to crack pa lang hiya that's why it imo i din he is denoted by ig Yeah, so, initaton gagamitin nga formula. But since cracking moment at ginbibiling, we'll rearrange this formula. Let me erase this one. Let me erase. Okay. So, we will rearrange this formula. Paano man? Yan. So, we will rearrange this one. So, this will be in terms of MCR, the cracking moment. This will be um, 
the modulus of rupture multiplied by the moment of inertia, the gross moment of inertia, divided by the distance of the extreme most fiber in tension from the neutral axis, the yt. So, in it atong working formula. Sana nag-gets niyo kung din inihinahi, din initi kang nga formula. Okay, so to solve for the MCR, we need the value of the modulus of rupture. Now, take note, nayakan kang ina adiman it modulus of rupture. Ginbutan ko didi. To solve for the modulus of rupture, we have here the formula. The modulus of rupture for 2015, that is 0.62 lambda square root of Fc prime. Nayakan man na natin problem nga normal weight. Ada man, normal weight here. Normal weight daw. So, it atang gagamiton is the, the value of lambda is 1.0. So, we, we can solve. Now, we will solve the value of the modulus of rupture. So, we, we have put it here. The modulus of rupture is equal to 0 0.62. Um, we have here the lambda is 1.0 multiplied by the square root of Fc prime. It's here. It's given the compressive strength, which is 27.6. Yeah, so this is equal to, okay, so the value of the modulus of rupture, I'm using that NSCP 2015 is equal to 3.257. Please verify bang in malit akon computation. This is in megapascal. Okay, so this is the value for the modulus of rupture. I'm in here. Okay, next. Oh, dito naman kita. I-solve natin it. Um, ano ba natin isosolve? Solve natin ini nga uh, moment of inertia. The gross moment of inertia. So, ano yun yan? Or rectangular man ha? And by the way ha, if you are uh, in this design, ini nga, ini nga atong topic, ini nga reinforced concrete, concrete design, and even in steel design, it aton permitong gagamit ng moment of inertia is the moment of inertia about the neutral axis. Okay? So, ha concrete design, ha steel design, ha ano pa ito nga design niyo? And timber design. It mga moment of inertia ito hindi da permitong hiya about the neutral axis. And even in your theory of structure, the moment of inertia is measured from um, the neutral axis. Okay, so for a rectangle, rectangle man ini, di ba? Review ni Yugi Hap ini. Kay ginaad man ini, you did to hit static. Static pa ini nga, nga topic. Base and this is the height. Okay. Ak with respect to this, ko an, to this um, um, axis, the, the neutral axis, it formula hit rectangular, ano, rectangular shape is BH cube over 12. So, kung rectangular naman, Kung about this axis at the base, this is, take note, this is the base and this is the height. With respect to the base naman, this will be BH cube over 3. Okay, so dapat maram memorize in niyo. And in fact, um, let me give you an, an, an assignment. Um, your assignment will be to um, um, study. Study lang ha. Study the, the moment of inertia of different regular shapes including spandrel including spandrel so anit mga regular shape and rectangle circle semicircle um him, uh, quarter circle ano pa spandrel etc basta ang mga regular shapes lang okay so that would be your assignment to to study and i will give you an uh, a practice exercise an assignment naman magsusolve ka muhan and moment of inertia of different shapes. So, this will be your assignment. Just to be sure nga maaram ka mo hini mag-solve a moment of inertia. And also, please, um, study gihap and kuan and transform formula in finding for the moment of inertia. Isurat niyo dida. Note niyo ha. Uh, moment of inertia about the neutral axis of different regular shapes and the formula for, uh, I mean, the transform formula in finding for the moment of inertia of different shapes. So, amo ito, mag-ahatag ako nina. After ko lang magkuhan, ihahatag ko it, ano, iyo practice exercise. Okay, so, let us solve for the value of the IG. Okay, this is the gross moment of inertia about the neutral axis. Since this is rectangular, so, natin formula is BH cube over 12. Our base is 300. It's here. Diba? Multiplied by 
pera ba it kuan it height okay this is 450 450 tim gagamiton wala pa man it gamit nga kuan nga mga bars kay about to crack pa man la so this is 450 cube over 12 about the neutral axis man so this is equal to my answer here is 2 million i mean 2 billion 278,000 million Bayan two million two hundred seventy eight million one hundred twenty five thousand. This is in mm raised to four. So I'm value nato nit ig. So this is our ig. Tapos so solve for MCR. We also need the yt. Ano ba ito yt dida? The distance from the neutral axis to the extreme fiber in tension. So this will be um this is your yt. Adi man nga distance. Adi man yt ni mo. So that is half of the four hundred fifty. So this is equal to 450 over 2. So this is 225 mm. This is your YT. Yan. Oh, so mira na ni mo kuan. Masosolve mo na an MCR. Okay? But let me let me solve that. Let me just erase this one first. Okay, so iso solve na to an MCR. So this is MCR is equal to, we have the value of FR, the modulus of rupture, which is 3.257. This is 3.257 megapascal multiplied by IG. Ada it IG. Kung naisa surat, kay damo it number. Basta IG ito hindi da. Over 225. So the answer for the MCR, if you use your calculator, The answer would be um, that is thirty two nine seven seven one two five. This is in newton mm. Newton mm. Takay ang given man is in kilonewton m kilonewton meter man. So you have to convert this to kilonewton meter. So paano man newton to convert to kilonewton, you have to divide this by one thousand. Mm to convert to meter, you have to divide this by one thousand. So one thousand Um, i-divide ni mo ini nga number by one, 1,000 twice. So, this number divided by, divided by 1,000 and divided by 1,000 again. So, and, and result will be, ah, mo na-add to kangina nga, 32.977. This is in kilonewton meter na. Take note ha, kilonewton meter, dire kilonewton per meter. Mali iton, kay moment ba ya? So this is our final answer. No, this is not our final answer. Kaya pa kaya na, kasi determine if cracking occurs. So what would be your answer? Masayang late pag answer. Therefore, therefore, um, cracks will not occur. What might an answer? Yan. Nakuha, Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, amay ito nito pag-determine. Pwede di kita hit next problem. Sample problem number two. Calculate the bending stress of the beam below if the normal weight of concrete with compressive strength Fc prime is 27.6 megapascal is used. The section is subjected to a bending moment of 30.34 kilonewton meter and the yield strength and the modulus of elasticity of steel is 276 megapascal and 200 gigapascal respectively. Now, pagkita ni mo it problem, diri mo na aansiran kay hilaba it wordings. Di ba? Asya ito nit mga student. Diri, pagkita pa it problem, halaba man ito nga problem, diri na aansiran. Tapos, to only to find out, halipot lang ay an. Um, it gimpa pa bilang din he, uh, hindi nga problem is the bending stress of the beam. Now, it pag compute it bending stress on on the first stage and uncrack stage, ngan han pag bibiling han stress did to han crack elastic stresses stage, mag iba. So the first step in in dealing with this type of problem is to always solve. I mean, is to always determine if cracking will occur. So my first question, 
what is the cracking moment for this example? Okay, comment magsusolve. And I want uh, I want somebody to to answer what is the cracking moment. Okay, diri pa ito na siyang gimbibiling ha? Diri ito na siyang gimbibiling na atong problem. Ang gimbibiling na atong problem is the stress uh, on the beam. Okay? Pero it pag determine kasi it's stress, it crack stage ng hanan and crack stage mag-iba. So we need to know kung hain nga stage ini nga beam when it is applied with 30.34 kN meter nga moment, nga bending moment. Okay, so my question now would be, ano it cracking moment? So anybody? Sige daw. What is the cracking moment? And I need to, I need to see a hand. Raise your hand if you want to answer. Uy. Ini may the answer dida. And and gimpapa solve ko is the cracking moment. What is the magnitude of the cracking moment? So that we can compare it with the moment on that section. Mr. is raising his hand. Mr. Um, sir, is it 34 kilonewton meter? 34 kilonewton meter. 34, lawa ray decimal. Oh, 34.07. 34.076 is my answer. So that's the cracking moment. That's correct. Thank you, Mr. So the moment... The cracking moment is equal to 34.076. This is in kilonewton meter. So this is the cracking moment. Now the given moment is 30.34 kilonewton meter. That means that there is a crack and beam. So yana kay there is magka crack. Naso gadit pag solve hiton. Okay, let me open my board. My whiteboard. Okay, so nahibaroan natin by comparing the cracking moments with the actual with the actual moment. And moment natin is 30.34. And in compare natin here, and we know nga the beam will not crack. So ibig sabihin, waray pa yung gamit ng mga tension bar, ng mga tension reinforcement. Okay. Sige, kaya waray man hiya gamit. So, an atan pag-compute Another pagcompute han flexural stress is actually the same with the first video ng ako kinhatag. Parang regular ko an lang hiya, homogeneous material lang hiya. Dere waray paman kasi gamit an bar, kay waray paman magcrack. Okay, so it may nanaboyin din hi. Kaya gin gin pakita ko yung kaniya, de ba? This is the neutral axis since the crack has not yet occurred. Amo niyot imo stress diagram. Ibag yung pakita ko yung kangina na sugad. And crack stage. And FC, the flexural stress in compression and the flexural stress in tension are the same. Magpariho lahira. Because nga, the neutral axis is passing through the geometric centroid of the, the section. Okay? So, an FC, nga an FT ni mo is the same. So, bisan hain nila tayong kuhaon. Bisan hain nila mo i-consider nga fiber in answering this sample problem. Pwede adi nga fiber team gamiton, pwede adi nga habos team gamiton. But anyway, the FC and the FT are the same man la, di ba? Okay, let us consider the FT. Okay, so the formula FB is equal to, this is the general formula for flexural stress, the bending stress, MY over I. Ang ginpapabiling is an stress. So natin bibiling mo na an FT. Let's, uh, so an MOFT will be equal to the actual moment given na yung moment. Tapos, ang y nga yung magagamiton is this y. And let's denote this as yt to denote tension. 
YT all over the gross moment of inertia. Okay, wari pa man mag-crack. So, gross moment of inertia team gagamitin. Okay, given and moment, and YT ni mo is, um, sorry, kung nalari eh. your FT is equal to, your moment is 30.34 kilonewton meter. Naka kilonewton meter ka, pero ang imo FT ng aking bibiling is the megapascal. So, you have to convert kilonewton meter into newton mm. Diba? So, this will be 30.34 um, times 30.34 times 10 raised to 6 newton mm. Yan. Do you agree? Kaya ano, to convert to convert this kasi into newton mm, you have to multiply by 1,000 twice. 1,000 times 1,000. 1,000 times 1,000 is 1 million. That's why you have here 10 times uh, times 10 raised to 6. So that's the value of the moment. Multiplied by the distance of the of the fiber from the neutral axis. So yt and yt nimo is from the neutral axis to this fiber right here. And that is katunga 450, diba? 450 katungahan, 450 is 225 mm. All over. And gross moment of inertia. Rectangular man here. BH cube over 12. So, it's kasasayon. And imo base is 310. What here? 310. And imo height is 450 cube over 12. Yeah, and so if you solve this using your calculator, my answer here, please verify. My answer is 2.9 megapascal. Yeah, so this is the answer. And your FC is equal to FT, and that is equal to 2.9 megapascal. So, ammonia, 2.9 megapascal. Now, this is how you solve. The uncrack stress, I mean, the uncrack stage of, ano, of the section. So, kung uncrack nga ni, amo it pagsusolve hini, hit, hit ko an, hit iya bending stresses. Okay, so, bisan hain nga, nga, nga fiber it imo i consider an topmost fiber or an low, an extreme most fiber in compression. Because anyway, parehi wala naman it era magnitude. Because, yun nga, the neutral axis is on is acting on the geometric centroid of the section. Okay. Now let's come to another let us have another problem. This one. Okay. Let's have this one. Calculate the bending stress in the beam shown below by using the transformed area method. So your FC prime is 20.7 megapascal and uh, we have here we call this the modular ratio. Modular ratio is equal to 9 and um, M is equal to 94.91 kilonewton meter. Determine the allowable, res number two, determine the allowable resisting moment of the beam. If the allowable stress is FC is equal to 9.3 megapascal and FS is 137.9 megapascal. Take note with the, ano, subscript. C, diba? Flexural stress C. Ibig sabihin, in compression and Ang ginhatag niya, an allowable stress in compression is 9.3 megapascal. And S naman, it stands for steel. So the flexural stress for steel is 137.9 megapascal. Okay, in, let me explain lang muna ha. Um, in 2010, okay, in NCP, is CP, in is CP 2010, your value for the FC, Okay, and value name for FC is equal to 0 0.45 FC prime. FC prime, amo ito niya ang compressive strength of the concrete. Or imagine ha, an imo allowable, kung nagamit ka nga ni heat working stress design, it imo allowable stress is only 45% of the capacity of the concrete. Imagine ito, kada mo nga kusog and mawawara and diri magagamitan. Because in your design, you only use 45% of the capacity of the concrete. 45% la, di ba? Amo ito na it working stress design. 
Kun working stress design nga ni, only 45% of the capacity of the concrete is being used in your design. So, ibig sabihin, uh, in the design perspective, parang you are being, um, what's the term? Parang conservative. You are very conservative here if you are using the working stress design. Because um, instead nga imo gagamiton mga 85%, ay pag 100% gamita. Take note, ayaw 100% gamita because um, kung guti ay lang nga magsubrahin load o magpifail na ni structure. So, as the designers, we are just being um, conservative here. Kung bagay atong ginagamit din he, din he, for working stress design is 0.45. So that, if the stress will exceeds that 0.45 FC prime, ibig sabihin, kaya pahan concrete actually i-resist Kung baka kaya pa additional stress. Imagine, 0.45%, I mean, 45% lang yung gagamit. That's why we have the ultimate strength design. And we will discuss it on the next video. So, in a working stress design, um, actually, on the two design philosophy, it pinaka ginagamit talaga is the ultimate strength design because um, it concerned ito, it, it, um, uh, it resources, it money. Okay, so for NSAP 2010, your FC is equal to 0.45 FC prime. Please remember this because it might not be given in the problem. Dere nga given in the problem. And then you have to solve for the allowable stress of com concrete in compression. That is 0.45 FC prime. In NSCP, NSCP 2015 naman, NSCP 2015, the same lang ahaw iton hera. FC is also equal to 0.45 FC prime. So, ang gimpapabiling din he is, una, the bending stress, and ikado naman, the allowable resisting moment. Okay, so, dedicated una, bending stress of the beam. Diba na yakan ako kangina, before you solve, you have to know if what stage na hiya. Han ko an, han loading. Is it the crack stage or the uncrack stage? Okay. So, to determine, imo imo solve ang cracking moment or the modulus of rupture. Diba? Imo igso solve. Pero, pero, naghatag naman hiyahin N. Tapos nagyakan hiya dida nga transformed area method. Diba? Ito nga mga hint, subtle hint of the problem. You have to consider that also para dari ka mag in imo ko an hit imo computation. Nasa rin nga rin nga transformed area method. Oh. Ah, kuha na ito niya. The, the problem is telling you to, um, is telling you that the beam will crack. Diba? Naghatag kasi hiyahin and naghatag kasi, nagyakan kasi hiyahin ang transformed area method. So, ito atong bubuhaton, we will skip that step and cracking moment and gindedetermine natin kung nag-crack na because the the problem, parang um, implicitly, nagyakan hiyahin nga magka-crack. Okay, so, what do we do? Okay. Okay, I mean here natin section ging kadikulaan mga given. Okay. So, di ba na yakan kita I mean yet so hit crack stage, di ba? Waray na gamit ang concrete diha obos because ang stresses are carried by the steel na. Okay, that means ini din hiya obos nga concrete waray gamit. So an may gamit la amo la ini. Nakikita niyo? Amo la iton it may gamit. Nakikita ba? Yes, sir. No. Okay. And may gamit la ang concrete block in compression and of course the tensile uh, bars the the reinforcing bar okay now when i say what i gamit what i gamit in the sense nga dire na hi nagka carry hin stresses pero may dapat niya gamit it gamit hin din hi an gamit din ni han, han concrete it gamit na let niya an pag cover na lahan ko an han, han bars kasi when bars are exposed to atmosphere Exposed nga nito niya heat atmosphere, mga water, di ba? It iron na rusty, ah. Okay. So, amo na lang it may gamit. Okay, so, um, we will um, combine the three bars. So, it iya combine area will be, pera ba? Tulo daw nga 28mm bar. So, our area is equal to tulo nga 28mm diameter bar. So, the formula for circle, circular man ito niya, is pi over 4 multiplied by the diameter which is 28 mm squared so this is equal to pera ba 1847 in terms of pi mr reyes in terms of pi sige daw 
Ano na remember ko 155 something. Oh, adi nga ni. 588. 588 pi. Yan. It's here. Nasurat ko ngayon. So, 588 pi. This is in mm squared. So, that is 588 pi. It's here. 588 pi mm squared. Yung combine ta lang. Okay? And, okay, take note, this is concrete. Adi concrete. And this one right here is steel. Mag-iba nga material. Okay? So, there is a homogeneous. Mag-iba nga material. So, what we do here, atong ginbubuhat, ginko convert naton it steel into its equivalent concrete. Diba? Mamakosog it steel. Steel is stronger than concrete. Diba? So, ini nga steel, ko convert ini naton hiya, and iya area, ko convert naton hiya into its equivalent concrete. So, what? how do we do that? It aton ginbubuhat may dakita modular ratio. Modular ratio is equal to the ES. Ang ES is the modulus of elasticity of steel over the modulus of elasticity of concrete. Diba? Modulus of elasticity of steel, if it is not given, permi ito niya 200 gigapascal or 200 times 10 raised to 3 mega pascal. Ang ito niya, it modulus of elasticity of steel. Now, I want to emphasize how to determine the modulus of elasticity of concrete. Because, again, this is determined by the code. Another memoryaho na naman. Okay. So, modulus of elasticity of concrete is derived from uh, the National Structural Code of the Philippines, adaman, section 419.2.2. Well, Nayakan din hi, for values of weight of concrete between 14,000 14,000, 1,440 and 2,560 kilogram per cubic meter, it imu formula, it pag solve it, modulus of elasticity of concrete is this formula. EC is equal to WC raised to 1.5 times 0.043 square root of FC prime. Memoria ha. I memorize. Okay? Okay. So, di, di naman, for normal weight concrete, takay nagyakan man, di ba? Normal weight concrete. Ano niya, babalikan ta problem. For normal weight concrete, the value for EC, um, modulus of elasticity is equal to 4,700 multiplied by square root of FC prime. Okay. So, that's how you solve. Now, luckily, dito ang problem, naghatag na yan value han N. And that is 9. So, dito na kita magsosolve han N. Gipakita ko lahat iyo kung paano ginsosolve it N. Amo yun yet formula. Okay. ES is equal to 200,000 yes, 200,000 megapascal all over and pag find naman han modulus of elasticity of concrete amin yung formula. 4,700 square root of FC prime. Tapos makukuha mo it modular ratio. At modular ratio naman dapat whole number. Magsusolve ka nga ni pero whole number it gamita. So kung it answer is 8.04 o it gamita 8 pero may whole number it gamita. Okay, so Naghatag naman, modular ratio is 9. So, gagamitin natin ini. Okay, so, what to do with this, ano, with this 9 here? Ano atong gagamitin? Ini nga 9, modular ratio, atong ito ni multiply nga to an area and steel. Diba? Imumultiply natin kay, yun nga, yung steel can carry so much um, greater force than concrete. Kumpare with era area. So, pananglitan, Pananglitan an area han concrete, uh, I mean, an area han steel is, say, for example, one, ano, one square inch. Okay. And one square inch han con an, an steel compared to one square inch han concrete, mas damo an ma, ma kikari han steel kontra han one square inch nga, nga concrete. And the modular ratio will tell you how much kung gaano kadamo. So, kay 9 man, ibig sabihin, the steel can carry 9 times the load that the concrete can carry in terms of area. Okay? 
So, kung the same Manera area, ang makikarihan still is 10 times than, 10 times load, more load than the concrete can carry. Or, you can look it like this. An area of steel, say for example, 1 square inch, tapos may daka area han concrete, 10 times than the area, 10 times the area of steel. Okay, 10 times man an area han, han steel and concrete, they will carry the same amount of load. Nakukuha. <laughs> Parang pati ako nalilipungan. <laughs> Anyway, basta it modular ratio, gimubuhat ito, gimumultiply natin nga to hand area and steel. So, this will be NAS, gimultiply ta, that will be equal to 5,292 pi mm squared. So, dire na hiya sugad hini. Magiging sugad na ito hiya. Okay. Itawag hini ha iya. Oh, wait lang. Nangalimut ako pag kuan. Kangina, hanwari mo pa i-convert and steel into, into its into its equivalent uh, um, concrete, itawag ito na iya is cracked section. Diba? Crack section. Okay. Crack section itawag ito iya. Pero kung iwan na nga na i-convert into its equivalent concrete, itawag ito na iya is transformed cracked section. So, amin niya at itsura. Okay. So, isosolve na ton and iya um, bending stress. Diba? Bending stress. And bending stress and concrete is FC. And bending stress and, and, and reinforcing bar is FS. So, ang so solve doon ha. Ini nganhin adi. Sayon. Sayon la. Ano di kita makariakohan akong whiteboard. Yan. Okay. So, amin hiya. So, amin ang mga given ha. Amin ang mga given. Tapos, yung papabiling ha aton an FC ng FS. FC ng FS ito gagamit ito ni it imo isosolve. Duduha ito yung isosolve. Kaya mag-iiba ini talaga ito iya stresses. Because we are in the correct elastic um, stresses stage na. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay. Oh, let us try to solve FC prime laan. I mean, FC laan ay. And adi laan ay. Itaton isosolve. Okay, so to solve that, di ba, anaton formula, and, and formula for flexure or bending stress is equal to F, um, M, Y over I. Di ba, amin yung formula. Okay, so ang yung bibili natin ni FC, your moment, moment is given, 94.91, I'll just put it here, moment. And imo Y nga gagamiton, take note ha, Y, in-explain ko na ini, han last nga video, is the distance from the neutral axis to the fiber you are considering. And for this example, you are considering the extreme fiber in compression. Take note, an aton ginso solve is this, the magnitude of this stress, the FC. And your corresponding fiber is this fiber. And distance of that fiber from the neutral axis, amo iton hiya an imo y. Ano iton hiya nga y? An x. Diri kita maaram kung ano iton hiya. X, gin denote natin hiya nga X. Okay. So, this is X. Okay. All over. An imo naman area, I mean, an imo moment of inertia nga gagamiton is the moment of inertia of the crack, I mean, transformed crack section. Okay. So, we'll name that moment of inertia as ICR. To denote nga nag-crack, an moment of inertia of the crack section. Okay, yan. So, amoy tat gimbibiling. To solve for FC, we need the value of X and ICR. Let's try to solve for X first. Paano natin madidetermine it X? Okay, let me um, zoom in. I-zoom ko lang ha. This is the neutral axis. Okay. Nayakan. Okay, di ba? Kanginahan, uncrack section. It pag determine it neutral axis, masayon la. Okay, uncrack pa man lahi ha. You just have to locate the centroid, the geometric centroid of the section. Now, this time, this is um, a bit different because it pag determine hit ko an, it pag determine hit neutral axis na sugad. Kin ko compare natin ang iya Q above the neutral axis, QA, A stands for above. Q above the neutral axis should be equal to the Q below the neutral axis. Ano ito nga Q? It Q, na sa rin, Q daw is the moment area, the first moment area of the section. Diba? Oh, kita ah. Ano, ano ba't ibig sabihin ito? Okay, Q above. 
So, meron nga nakita nga Q, that is the moment area. Paano ba kita nag-determinate moment? Diba? It moment is equal to force times the distance. But since moment area man, an area times the distance it atong gagamiton. Kay moment area man, di ba? Okay, so amit na natin formula. Okay. So kay moment area man, an area times the moment arm of that area from the neutral axis. Take note, ha, neutral axis it aton, pinaka, pinaka axis naton. So Q above man, this is the neutral axis. Above the neutral axis is this area. And the area of this block, the area of this block of the concrete is equal to, of course, rectangle man ito niya, base times height. Base times height, di ba? Okay. Your base here is, adi man, 305, di ba? Pari humalit hiya, yun nga distance. Ngayon, at yun nga distance. 305. So that's why you have here the 305. This is the, the base times height. The height is x. That's the area pa lang. Area times distance. And distance and centroid, hindi nga block. This is the centroid, di ba? Ada di that centroid. Hindi nga distance, that is half of the height, which is x. That's why x over 2. Nakuha? Uy. <laughs> yes, sir. Nako ha? Okay, sige. We'll go now to the Q below. An area naman below, adi man light area below, ini man la, di ba? And luckily, maaram na kita kung anong area and that is 5,292 pi mm squared. So, we'll just put it here. An area niya is 5,292 pi na lang. That's the area. Multiplied by the distance from the neutral axis. This is the centroid, di ba? This is the centroid. And the distance of that centroid to the neutral axis is 432 minus x. So, 432 minus x. As you can see on this equation, the only unknown there is x. So, one equation, one unknown. You can solve for the value of x. Di ko na i-explain kung paano gin solve it x. Kay algebra la ito niya. Diba? Algebra man ito. So, you have to know how to solve. Can you see my calculator? Yes, sir. Okay, ha? Sige. So, we have here... Um, Three hundred five multiplied by x. Oops, send by yung x gen this one x multiplied by x over two x over two is equal. Oops, equal to. 5292 pi multiplied by 432 minus so this is equal to your x is equal to 169.249 up to 48 so this is 169.248 is that right? 248, yes. MM. Well, I'm with you and X. I'm with you and X. How about the... Ini, ng 432 minus X. Ibutang ko lari di para dinak magsunol ko 432 minus X is equal to... 432 minus X. 262.7. Two six two point seven five two seven five two mm. Yan. Okay, so this these are the value. An x naton is one sixty nine point two four eight mm, and uh, the distance naman from the neutral axis to to this I know to the steel to the centroid of the reinforcing bar is equal to two hundred sixty two point seven five two mm. Okay, and atong yung is the FC prime. I mean, FC. the FC prime. And FC, and value niya di. So, may nakita moment. 
na sold na nato ng di ba? We also need to solve for the crack moment of inertia pala ngayon. So, adiha, adin aton working equation. Amo ito na natin working equation. To solve for Fc, we need the value of M, which is already given, 94.91 kilonewton meter, and also the X. Na solve na natin ng X. Adan man ng X. 169.248 mm. Now, we need to solve for the uh, moment of inertia of the cracked section. Adian aton section. Let me erase this one. Okay. So, adian aton section, ha? This is our section. So, paano natin determine it moment of inertia? Take note, ang moment of inertia ang aton ginibiling didi is the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis. As I have said earlier, tanan nga moment of inertia din hing aton gin, gin gagamit is always um, with respect to the neutral axis. Okay, so how to determine the moment of inertia? I'll put it here. I'll zoom in. This is the section, di ba? Ah. So this is the section. So paano natin madidetermine it moment of inertia of the crack section? Okay, doon doon imo area, di ba? Doon doon imo area. Okay, let's talk about before kita mag-solve ito ng moment of inertia, i-discuss ko na lang din yan, transform formula for the for finding the moment of inertia at any axis. Nasa rin, i-transform formula, the moment of inertia of any shape from any axis is equal to the moment of inertia at the neutral axis or the centroid of that area plus, plus ha, Area of that area times the distance. D is the distance from the axis to the neutral axis of that area squared. Ano ba't ibig sabihin ito? Pananglitan may dakitahin ni rectangle. Tapos adi ang axis. Kung kukuha natin ang moment of inertia of this rectangle from this axis. Okay. Kung kukuha natin laan ay ang EINA, ang EINA, di ba, ang EIA, moment of inertia, the neutral axis of this area is equal to BH cube over 12. Di ba? Amo ito niya? It iya, moment of inertia, the neutral axis. Takay dirik man neutral axis ang gimbibiling. Ang gimbibiling man at this axis man. This is the axis. Okay, so you get the moment of inertia, the neutral axis, and this is this one, plus an EIA area, this is B, this is H. Ini. Okay, so ang area naman is base times height. Times the distance. Ini nga distance. Ini. Amin hiya an iya. Sinisa rin nga distance. Dida. The distance from the neutral axis of the shape to the axis you are considering. Kung di man yung maging papabiling ang moment of inertia. So this is the area times the distance squared. I mean, here, it transformed formula. It's in a ring a transform formula. Now, let us apply this. <clears throat> let us apply this principle here. Oh, dear. Come with magsusolve. How about kung may dakita sugad hini? Oh, come with magsusolve. I want to know kung naintindihan. So, this is the base. This is the height. And this is the axis. What is the formula for this, ano, for the moment of inertia with respect to this axis? Matawag ako. Anyone? Um, BH cube over 3. BH cube over 3. Oo. I think ginhatag ko ako ginangani ito nga. So, BH cube over 3. This is the moment of inertia at this axis. Okay? Amo ito. Gagamitan natin yung formula pagkuha DD. Hini DD. Okay? BH cube over 3, ha? Okay, let me erase. I-erase ko na. Hindi na maghataga ka iyuhin ko ano. Yung assignment in finding for the moment of inertia. We are solving for the ICR. The crack moment of inertia. So, this is the neutral axis, ha? So, nasa ring BH cube over 3. What's the base? Adilaan ay tatin ko consider ha. Adilaan ay. Adilaan ay. So, what is the base of that section? Ano ba itong base itong? 305. 305. So, that is 
305. What's the height? Nasolve na nato nato di ba, Adi Didi? The height is 169.25248. 169.248. This is in uh, mm cube over 3. Over 3, ha? Diba? BH cube over 3. BH cube over 3. Plus. Okay, kaya ano may plus? Kay Adi pa yung area haubos sa neutral axis. Diba? Ano man ito, net iya, kuan? Diba? Rectangle. Masanin ka, rectangle man hiya, sir. So, we need to use the BH cube over 12 pa. The BH cube over 12 for this area. But, but, ha? Since this distance, this distance is very, very small. Diba? Ano atong transform formula kasi? BH, BH cube over 12 plus AD squared. So, since this distance, ini nga rectangle, ini nga rectangle, ini nga distance niya, ini nga height niya is very small. And imo height, ini nga, ini nga, kuan, ini nga, ini nga H is very, very small. Tapos imo pa IQ cube, magtitikagot ila itong hiya. So, ini hiya, parang gininiglek na yun nato, na natong ginaad na lalo di han, han crack moment of inertia is this one. An area of that section multiplied by its distance from the neutral axis raised to 2. Okay? Nakuha ba? Hello? Yes, sir. Nakuha ka nakuha doon. Nakuha mo't magsusol. Pero ako nagsol. Sige na lang. The area is 5292 pi. 5292 pi. What's the distance? From the neutral axis of that area. 432 minus x. Nasolve na natin, di ba? 262.752. 262.752. Bilang ko di daubo sa 262.752. Squared. Ayaw ka nga limutan squared. Pero man ini. My answer is, amo na, one, one, pero ba ito nyo? One, two, three, one, two, three. Sixteen billion. Sixteen billion, ano? Sixteen billion. Okay. Sixteen billion. Ah, one, one billion lang ay, an? Four, zero. Six, seven, seven. 343. 343. This is an mm raised to 4. Oi, mm raised to 4 ito niya. Raised to 4 pero may ito niya moment of inertia. O, may na nakita moment of inertia. Yan. O, mabalik kita rin yan aton working equation. Wait lang. Ano tala mo, Alanay? Kakadikuya. Okay. So, this is our working equation. We have the value of X, we have the value of ICR. Okay, so your FC, FC is therefore equal to your moment, given and moment, diba? Adi man, 94.91 kilonewton meter. 94.91 kilonewton meter, you have to convert it to newton mm. Don't forget to convert it to newton mm. So multiply this by 10 raised to 6. Para maging Newton, mm hiya. Times, your x is 169.248. This is an mm. All over, your i is 1,640,677,343 mm raised to 4. The result is, pera. Nine point seven nine zero six six eight three one six eight. Nine point seven nine one. So the answer is nine point seven nine zero. So this is in nine one sir. Nine one. A one. A one. Sige. Yeah. Nine point seven nine one megapascal. So this is the compressive stress at the concrete. 
take note duhaan aton ginbibiling kay duhaan material may dapakita FS let me erase this one because waray ako space gusto ko kita unit problem mm, okay and aton ginbibiling na is the FS take note it pag determine gap ni of course naka base gap han aton general formula for bending stress or for the flexural bending stress MY over I. Pero, pero FS ito ang bibiling. FS is equal to an imu moment nga gin-apply itong dida nga section. An imu Y. What's, ano nga white imu gagamiton? Sige daw. Ano nga white imu gagamiton? The distance of the neutral axis to the centroid of the steel. Steel reinforcement. And that is, adi man, di ba? 432 minus x that is equal to 262.752 mm. So, sa tayong gagamiton. Pwede nga yun natin diridritso na rin pag solve. Ano na? So, i-risk with moment. And moment natin is 94.91 times 10 raised to 6. Okay, yung convert ko into newton mm ha. Multiplied by ang distance niya from the neutral axis that is 262.752. 262.752 all over the cracking moment of inertia. And that is 1640. But 1640677343 mm raised to 4. Now, before you solve, take note that, diba, inihiya nga FS, I mean, inihiya nga area, inihiya nga area, gin convert naton iton hiya into um, um, equivalent concrete di ba gin convert naton iton hiya ni ya yeah, into its equivalent concrete so ibig sabihin for you to solve talagahan fs you still need to divide this by the modular ratio and this is your modular ratio that is equal to 9 but so n is equal to 9 Puta ko na lang, Dede. Nine. Ako na. So, ang may ito niya yung mo equation. Fs over n is equal to my over icr. As ito niya yung formula. Okay, let us solve for Fs. What's the value for Fs? Somebody please solve for the value of Fs. 136.80 Ano niya, nagdurungan ka mo. Sige, Mr. What's your answer? 136.80 Point? 80 80 Megapascal Of course, in megapascal O, amo yun mo answer Han FS So, your answer is ani, FC is equal to 9.791 megapascal And your FS is equal to 136.80 megapascal Do you have the answer, ha? Adi Adi man, adi, adi ba? Yellow na lahat at gagamitan. Ini. Nga. Di ba? Ano una pala ito nga question. And. Ya yeah, di pala ito niya nga question. And. Number one pala ito niya nga question. So number two. You are to determine the allowable resisting moment of the beam. If the allowable stress is FC is equal to 9.3 megapascal and the FS is 137.9 megapascal. Wait lang na. Wait lang. Na discuss ko na diba kung paano natin determine kung dere ini given. Paano natin gini determine an FC kung dere given. You base it with this formula. Na discuss ko na kanina. Sorry, na discuss ko na ngayon ito. Okay, didi kita. So ang gini determine natin yan na. <coughs> is the capacity of the beam and moment and kaya niya makarry nga moment. Diba? So, kung an imo moment is 94.91 and ES stresses are 9.791 megapascal tapos sa FS naman has still is 136.80 megapascal. So, ibig sabihin, kita daw, i-compare natin na natin na solve. And natin FC, that is when the when the moment is 94.91. And aton FC is 9.791. That is greater than the capacity of the beam. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, kung among moment, mag-fulfill it imo beam. 
Tapos, ang IMO still, ang IMO ato na solve is 136.8, tapos ang IA capacity is 137.9. Ibig sabihin, an, an, uh, your beam, I mean, the steel can still sustain the, ano, the, tensile, the tensile force, the tensile stress um, brought about by the moment, by the applied moment. Okay. So, yan na. Ang ipapasolva aton is the kung ano ba it moment nga capacity, the moment capacity of the beam. Knowing that the stress in concrete should not be greater than 9.3 and the stress in steel should not be greater than 137.9. Amo ito nit imo mga limiting factor, limiting stresses. Okay. Now, let us first consider the limiting stress in concrete. Kung, paano, kung ano it iya capacity of the um of the section if the limiting fact if we use the limiting factor 9.3 megapascal of concrete so an fs uh, F, fc is equal to m an aton an aton um y an aton gagamiton nga y is the distance from the neutral axis to the extreme fiber in compression and that is 169.248 i'll put it here 169.248 all over an atom moment of inertia na solve na natin 1640 1640 ano ba yan 677 677343 mm so an atom fc given man an fc 9.3 diba this is let me erase this one this is 9.3 megapascal. So, an imo moment, pero daw it moment. 900. 900. 900? 900. 901. 901. Hala ba ito niya for sure? 53498. Aba? 4.36. How many? 90. 90 million 153,498.36 What's the unit? Uh, Newton mm. Newton mm. Very good. Newton mm. So you have to convert this to kilonewton meter. So your moment 90 point point 0.153 kilonewton meter. Yan. So this is your moment. Kung ang concrete ang imo pagbabasihan, di ba? Ang moment niya is 90.153 kN meter. Kung ang pagbabasihan ni mo ang imo pagcompute is the concrete. Now, let us try kung aton pagbabasihan naman is the steel. Ang ano ang formula? Fs over N is equal to My over ICR. And Fs naton, what's the value of Fs? Ada na ha, 137.9. 137.9 megapascal over n n is 9 is equal to an moment an aton gid bibiling an aton y nga gagamiton the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the reinforcing bar and that is this distance anyman in 432 minus x and that is 262.752 <clears throat> 262.752 262.752 mm. That's your Y. And your ICR, I believe, na copy ko na to, ano to, 16, 16406773433 mm raised to 4. So, masasolve name 1 m. What's the value of the m? If tension nine control. five six Pera? nine five six nine five six seven five zero nine six zero point eight. Come again? Nine five six seven five zero nine six zero point eight. Are you sure? Newton mean. Yes, sir. 956. Sure. Wait long. Let me try to check, Mr. Warina 0, sunod 6. 
Bale, 956 ano? 956 ano? 956 Okay. 956 Okay, ha, let me erase, erase. Point, point zero eight. Yan. Diba? This is in Newton mm. If you convert ni mo into kilonewton, your moment will be 95.675 kilonewton meter. So this is your answer if tension controlled. So now, sir, it it, it unit it final answer dapat always itong kilonewton meter. Oo. Oh, oh. Oh, unless, so merong it problem nga it-answer Newton mm. Pero kung di rin ano mag-sering, automatic ito niya, kilonewton meter. Di ba? Pero ito yung pag-compute, dapat itanan nga forces is in Newton, tas ang tanan nga distances is in mm, tanan nga stresses is in megapascal. But when you give your koan, your answer, um, your force should be in um kilonewton pero not necessary Ma makikita mo man ito kung kung magkuan nga ako maghatag nga ni ako hin, hin example i will state okay i state ko kung give your answer in kilonewton meter give your answer in kilo in newton mm or sometimes may daman ito di ba may daman ito mga choices oh may daman ito choices di ba so makikita ni mo kung anit kuan Okay, so to answer the question, what is the moment capacity of the section, of the cracked section? What would be your answer? And why? Wait lang, matawag ako hin mag answer I want to know your idea. Okay, let me stop sharing first. Tapos. So, amin niya an aton answer. 90.153 and 95.167. So, anya di, anya di ha, ang inihiya, ang kanan, concrete inihiya. Capacity ang concrete. Adi naman, capacity and steel. Now, the question, to answer, to answer the problem, ang ipapap, determine kasi ang problem is to determine the moment capacity of the beam. What would be your answer? And why? Anybody? And mas guti ng moment from the concrete. Why? Sir, kay I remember ang strength of materials. Ang uh, concrete nga nyo moment, ang pinipili ang mas guti. Ang ba, sir? Diri, that would not be a valid answer. I want to know why. Kay ano man, han, kay ano han, kay ano han, strength of materials, ang guti nga yung moment, ang ginkukuha. Para, kasi kung lumapos, Kung naman gamitin, mag-crack-crack dahil ang one, ang concrete. Crack na kita ha. We are already in the crack stage. So, mag-crack-crack talaga ito niya. Bisan ang dako ano yung pili on, bisan ang guti ano yung pili on. Rod Mr. De La what is your idea? Ha, in it ato nga answer hit problem. Nasa rin kasi, um, find the moment capacity. So, duduhan ato nakuha. Hain it aton iga answer han problem and why? Ah, da ba hey, Mr. D? Bang hindi rin mamati. Sir, I don't have any idea. Sige. Mr. Sir, ang gurugote. Why? Bakit? Bakit ang gurugote? Kay. Sir, pagkatradon ko anan question. Uh, my question is, di ba duhaan ato nakuha nga valuehan moment? So, kung concrete, ano ito pagbabasihan, ang valuehan moment is ada, di ba, nakashow. Tapos, kung ang steel, ano ito pagbabasihan, may dati niya corresponding moment. So, to answer the question, ang question kasi napakianak, kung ano ang capacity han beam. Okay? It so happened that the beam is, are, is made up of concrete and steel. So, kung concrete, may dati niya corresponding moment, still may niya corresponding moment. So, which of the two it i-answer as the capacity of the beam? 
Sir, kay sigon sa nga, ang gurugutian natin yung kuha ni nga capacity. Pag mm-hmm. sigon ta di ba sa nga, di ba, nag-crack hiya, ito di da nga guti nga kuhan, ito di da nga guti nga, ito yung nga capacity. Sige sa'yo, masin kita nga, delikado na hiya, ito yung nga beam. So, di rin na kita pwede na mag-stay kay, bagat, mas, tawag ito, mas, Wait lang, ha? Ma- wait lang, miss. Ah, uh, makulaps na hiyam. Okay, wait lang. Both of the moment, because we are already in the crack section, because the cracking moment is far less, lesser than the the moments that we got. So, it, etan mga, it aton kasi cracking moment, ato ito niti mga 30 point something. Tapos, anaton nakuha, anaton duha nga moment nga nakuha, mas dako talaga han cracking moment because we are already on the crack um crack section i mean crack stage diba so uh, magka crack talaga hiya now my question is kay ano an lower value han moment it has nothing to do with the crack cracking moment or the if the the one will crack my question is which of the two it aton pipili on and you are right the lower the lower value my question is why Kay bagat turuharan hiya sir di damis muhan kuan na di damis muhan bagat ending na niya nga kuan ending na niya nga bagat didahan waray na talaga pag asa <laughs> Okay Ay sir tadi ako nutok Okay um I think you have an idea but I want I want kuan dapat ma-express ni you idea kun kung kaya ano ang lower value at ang ginggo kuha. Tinggam ni ha, duduhaan material, concrete nga and steel. Kung ang concrete ang pagbabasihan, adaan iya moment. Kung ang steel ang pagbabasihan, adaan iya moment. So, hi, may atong pipili on. Kaya ano lower ang atong pipili on. Why? Hinit na grace it, han. Just... Sir, di na ako sure, sir. It ako na po pakaintindi. Um, di ba, sir, kay it, M is the moment capacity. So, lumampas na nga na itong moment capacity niya, ma-fail na po it material. So, if lumampas na po nga dahil itong nga 95 ka nang steel, ma-fail na hiya. Where in, in concrete, nag-crack naman hiya. Tapos, 90.153 km. So, anato na sir, gin ko kuan nga diri po mag-fail and and na hold po ang structure, which is an koan na po ang steel. So, mas safer if mas habubo pa hiya, which is 90.15 km mm. Okay. Okay. And meter po. Okay. Um, clearer ang imo answer. Pero my question is, ini ha? In it, in it aton, it, it exact answer. Piliyon nga nila aton ang concrete. Magpifail ba ang, magpifail ba ang structure? Kita ah, piliin nga na ito ng concrete which is 90.153. Ibig sabihin kung ang moment ni mo is 90.153, magpifail ba ang concrete? Miss G- I'm talking to you. No po, sir. No, because it is still the capacity of the concrete. The concrete can still sustain that moment and also the steel can sustain because the capacity of the steel is 95 and the capacity of the concrete is 90.153. So, ibig sabihin ko, 90.153 na itong gamiton, kaya pa concrete, kaya pa han steel. Now, the question, ko 95.675 kilonewton meter na itong pilion, kaya pa han steel, pero, pero, dire na kaya han concrete. Mag-fail na ang concrete. When one of the two material fail, the whole section will fail also. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha ba? An idea? Yes po, sir. Okay, sige. Very good. Okay. Um, Before, that would be my last, ano, that would be the end of my presentation, of my lecture. So, do you have any question before I let you go? Sir, mag- sir, mag- ah, taga, sir, I mean, PowerPoint. Maghahatag ako yung video. Ano naman ang PowerPoint it you go? So, sige, ihatag ko yung PowerPoint. Ah, ang butera, sir. Video na lang, sir. Nga doon na lang, sir. Pwede kaya nga doon ako. Oh, sige. Sige, pwede man. Okay. Asya lahat ang question? Um, excuse me, sir. Hmm, you are excused. Um, 
Sir, may dakola po ko ang po, may dakola po concern kay tulo po kasi po sir ang design di ba nga subject. Mm-hmm. And imo po sir tinisiring po kanina nga working stress design po and 45% FC tapos may lewat ultimate strength design po nga era para percentage na ginagamit. Mm-hmm. Papreho po ba tira sa mga ito ang timber no, steel yeah. and concrete? The 0.45 FC prime is only for concrete. Okay, the 0.45 SPM is only for concrete and modular ratio magagamit ni heat timber. So the same iton hiya nga, nga principle. Parang parang di ba ang modular ratio ging gamit naton pag convert and and steel to concrete. Dito naman heat ko, dito naman heat um timber. May da kasi sometimes it timber gin gingkuan kasi naton gin reinforced gihap naton iton hiya and steel. Okay, so you can use that that ano that idea. I mean The same principle. You can use that principle. Iko convert ni mo ang steel reinforcement and timber into its equivalent timber. Parang sugat ito. Parang hula ito niya nga idea. Thank you, sir. Try na, sir. Okay, sige. Okay, ha? So, don't forget your assignment. Familiarize yourself with the different formula for the moment of inertia of different regular shapes and the, the transform formula. Okay, so before we end, please open your camera because I need to screenshot because it require kami pagpasa nga to have VPAA at the end of the month. Parang accomplishment report. Please open your camera. Okay. An iba. <coughs> Ginuubo ako. Pero don't worry, there COVID. <laughs> Charot. Okay. Um, okay, ha? One, two, three. Let me take a screenshot. Okay, sige. Okay na. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for listening to my lecture. See you next week. Oh, next week. Mag-announce nala ako. Mag-announce nala ako. Sige.